All righty. Thank you so much for hanging out with us right here on Y254 TV. You are watching Y in the morning. Segment is Thursday Vibes, where we are all about matters, lifestyle, technology, and much more. And like per usual, like I always say, continue to engage with us on our socials. That's on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter is at Y254 channel. And you can find me also at Brian Sakwa 101. Now joining us right live in studio is an amazing Amazing, beautiful and elegant gifted lady. She is also the reigning Miss Little Kenya. She's into the world of pageant and beauty at such a young age. She has managed to achieve a lot for herself and believe me you, she's not even yet at her peak. She's just starting but the accomplishments, the accomplishments she has already bugged for herself are mind-blowing. The one and only Valerian Adoyo right in studio with us. Good morning Val. Good morning. Am I allowed to call you Val? Yes. Because you know Valerie, Valeria, it's just like, you know, it's like, it's like a tongue twister of Val, Valerie, Valeria. So do you get a lot of people confusing your name for, from like Valerie to Val? Yes. Yeah. Right, so I'm right to call you Val? Yes. Right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Right. Now, uh, when I was actually reading uh, your description and just some of the accomplishments you, you managed to actually hack for yourself, yes. there's a lot of influential people you have met and you also mentioned that, you know, uh, your parents are very supportive as well, your siblings are very supportive. Yes. What exactly drove you to actually venture into that space of, you know, I want to be Miss Africa, I want to be Miss Universe in future. And plus, on top of that, also, you want to be a journalist. What exactly inspired you? Actually, I don't want to be a journalist. I'm already a journalist. You are already. <clears throat> so, yeah, I want to be, grow and become a more bigger journalist and a news anchor. Right. Yes. So, what exactly inspires you to, to go into that direction? Because, you know, a lot of people will say, me, I watch Beyonce. I want to be the next, you know, Beyonce popping these R&B buildings. <laughs> what exactly? For me, yeah. I don't, I, I'm not following one's um, personalities. I want to people to follow my personalities. Right. So what inspires me to be the Little Miss Africa? First and foremost, Africa is all about cultural diversity, right. culture. Mm. And if you look in our Africa today, Africa is a very big and interesting continent. So for me, I think to become the Little Miss Africa is not only about beauty and beauty, love, like being famous. It's all about charity and cultural diversity. Right. What mainly inspires me is just to help other kids out there because right. many of like right now um we are going through a lot as africans right. so for me i think supporting the cult the african culture is very important than just beauty and also help helping the other children out there to know their talent and to know that they should never give up in life yes right. You know, at such a young age, I, I don't know how old are you, but are you comfortable to say your age? Yes. How old are you? I'm 12 years old. At 12 years old, guys. So you're talking about Africa. <laughs> at 12, <laughs> remember, we look along about problems in Africa. Why are you not busy playing Kalongo out there? Uh -huh. And this beautiful lady right here is talking about, you know, ending poverty in Africa, helping other kids, you know, realize their talents, which is actually something very unique. Yes. And speaking of that, um, how did you actually venture into that space and, you know, got to start participating in, would you call, can we call it pageant? Yes. Yeah. How did you like enroll into it and start even your first event and how did it go? Okay. When I was graduating in 2016, like this, this thing happened, it was just a coincidence. I was the only kid who was chosen to model, like on, on a very big crowd. It was on the graduation day when I was graduating to go to class one. So like I'm, I presented on front of the whole crowd. I also presented a poem and I can remember very well the poem was about environment. That like many people were surprised. I just introduced my, I was in a, at a very low age. So like I introduced myself very, I was very, let me say it, I was very courageous to say my name, stuff like that. I was right. very courageous to say the poem. Modeling, actually it was a very big crowd. Like, my, my parents are like, what? You could actually do that? And most that of confidence, my, right? Yes. Yeah. Most of my parents, most of my friends uh -huh. said like that, Valerian, you should become a model. And I was like, what, what will it help me? But when At it's, what class was that? It was when it was in PP2. 
I remember that's very well. very young. Yes, yeah. I, no. that's, I, I can remember very well. I started modeling in front of, the first time I modeled, it was in front of a crowd and it was on my graduation day. day huh? So like my friends were like, Valerian, you should be modeling. And I was like, what should that really help me with? Um, then in 2019, that's when I came to realize modeling is going to be something very big. And I thought it would be more nice if I joined myself into pageants. And my first competition was the Little Miss Africa, Little Miss Environment Kisumu County. Yes. And I think it was Which just... Which I feel like, uh, do we have a certificate for it here? Yes. We have a couple of certificates here about you, and I think we'll just shine the light on three main ones, but continue explaining. You're saying Miss Kisumu? Miss Environment, Environment Kisumu, Kisumu County. Kisumu. So that was my first competition, right. which I only practiced for a few days to the competition. To the competition. So I was like... But so what happened before the competition? Like, was there an inconvenience that happened that put you at a spot where you had no time? Okay, the first time I, I went for practice, I actually cried because I thought Why like... Why did you cry? <laughs> it was like hard to get the moves on the stage. So like okay. you find uh -huh. balancing yourself on the stage was so hard. Walking on hills, like it was just so hard. So right. you had to keep on practicing, practicing and never giving up. So after a few days, it was now for time for the competition of which I was not tensed. I was so happy. I was right. so confident and I thought that was the... Like, when one has a chance to do the best, you can just do your best since you know. That is the only chance I have, and you never know if you'll ever have another chance. Right. So I just did my best, and I emerged the first channels up, Little Miss Environment, Kisumu County, 2019. Wow, congratulations for that as well. Thank uh, you. And speaking of uh, congratulations, which is like your biggest event that you'd say, this one was like the highlight of uh, my modeling career as well? Um, Little Miss Africa uh, in Africa, all over Africa. The title that I'm wearing right, right now, now right. Uh. is Little Miss Africa in Kenya. Uh -huh. But then later on, I, this 2020, I, 2022, I came and participated in the Little Miss Africa, all over Africa. There were children from Sierra Leone, South Africa, Kenya, Uganda. So you see like South Africa, um, South Sudan. So you see... That the, diversity of yes, you know, the, so different we come, people, right? We come together and realize other cultures from South Africa, from right. Kenya, we learn the other culture from other countries. So you see, like, it was so interesting, of which it happened in Uganda. Yes. All right. So, uh, is this the certificate for it? Uh, but then yes. she, has a couple, she has a couple of certifications. And uh, the one that's framed, I think, is the most special. Let me just uh, point it out for you. And this is, this year it says, uh, Little Miss Africa 2022 presented to uh, Valerian Adoyle for exhibiting such great character and resilience, complete, completed all required tasks with a positive attitude. The love for your cultural diversity should not end here and shouldn't be a, should be a pivot turn for your day-to-day and endeavors and uh, wow there's there's a lot of actually you know sponsors who are actually at this event how yes. did you how did you feel when you got this i felt so happy and i thought that they will once again come support me in my talent so i felt so happy right yes how, how, how and speaking of, of support you mentioned your dad is supportive as well and he's also in the studio with us here today yes you mentioned your siblings and how does it feel actually to be so young and you mentioned you're, you're also a firstborn and you have all this support at this young tender age. How does it make you feel? I feel like I'm an inspiration to other kids out there, especially my siblings. Since sometimes you find when I'm modeling, my brother comes and joins me. So I feel like maybe one of these days, my brother will also come and be the next little Mr. Africa in the whole of Africa at a very tender age. Yes. Right. Interesting. Uh, modeling is like... With makeup is in Nisha I even believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody would say, hey, I, I, the reason why I started modeling is because I love makeup. I want it to look so beautiful on camera. Is it, is it true or am I it's just a narrative and sometimes it's false? Because uh, I don't know if we, we are able to, uh, like you told me that you don't have makeup on your face today. Yes. This is just a natural you. Yes. And I can only imagine if you enhanced yourself, how would it be? Is it true like, you know, for you to be a model, you must love makeup? It's not true. Being right. a model is all about your natural beauty. It's not about artificial beauty. Since artificial beauty just came um, a few days back. But your natural beauty, you were born with it. You'll stay with it. And it will always be there with you. 
So you feel like modeling is not all about makeup and beauty and it's not all about artificial beauty. It's all about natural beauty. For me, I don't think it's true that modeling is all about um, makeup. For me, I think natural beauty is the best for our uh, for an African, including our, that it says that black is beauty. I think that it's that, like, it's just natural to have the black beauty in you. Yes. Right. Amazing. There's this award here for, this was for last year. It says for, uh, there's a, a certificate of uh, participation and uh, house, it was Hola Awards, House of Legacy Awards 2021 last year. And I can see the people who are actually present who are actually behind this event were Member of Parliament Mavoko, Honorable Patrick Macau, Woman Rep, Honorable Joyce Kamene. We had CAS, a former CAS Ministry of Transport, Honorable Wavinia Ndeti. How did you feel when this was presented to you? I felt so so I just felt so inspired since you find they were they were so supportive actually when I was on stage they clapped they cheered I was like oh wow I can't just I like it was just a coincidence finding all the member of of the county assembly like it was just I felt so proud of myself right yes and speaking of proud you know um when, uh, when, of course, you're taking on this journey to be a model, there's a lot of channel challenges that come with, but I love the fact that, you know, for you, you have your dad and your mom who are supportive. Yes. Now for the school, uh, where you school, you mentioned your school at? I school at Tutala Academy. Are your teachers watching? <laughs> I think they're watching. But I hope then, they're watching. <laughs> yes, but also they're busy with our candidates. All right. Yes. So, so how's the reception? How do other students, uh, your, your fellow students or your fellow colleagues, how do they treat you when um, they hear, Valerie has won these years. She has so many certifications in, in pageantry and whatnot. You know, you're attending events where, you know, members of parliament are present. How do they treat you? Actually, it depends that one's attitude. Some of them feel jealous, of which I think jealousy, it, it just comes natural because they also want to be like me, of which if you one, have a, one has, a, has a talent, it should just come naturally. So I'm treated equal to other people, but then most of the people feel jealous about me. So you find some want to be my friends just because I'm famous so that they can also become famous through me. Wow. So, Which is crazy, right? Yes. So sometimes you find um, that is also a big challenge in school. Right. Some of them become like, oh, Valeria, and you like showing off, of which it's because of jealousy. But all in all, even Jesus himself right. was hated by the Pharisees and others. So it, 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 when they come through jealousy, like they come to me with jealousy, I put more effort on, on what I'm... Um, I want to be when I grow up, yes. Right. And speaking of jealousy, you know, um, when a person doesn't like you, they don't like you, you can't explain to them or you can't convince them to like you. And yes. that sometimes can, you know, make you feel some certain type of way, especially if somebody has boldly come out to say, I don't like Valerie, I think she's pretending. Yes. But away from that, I love the fact that also you're attributing it to God. It's not easy, right, to yes. be in that space. Yes. Now, let's come back to you. You are so talented in many other ways and you mentioned you're also a journalist as well you are a poet as well and uh, you said you want to be a news anchor do you feel like when when you reach at a point where you are miss you say you want to be miss universe kenya or miss universe africa i want to be the i want to be the the miss miss kenya which miss if I kenya, become the right. miss kenya yes All right there's miss world kenya there's a difference between miss kenya miss world kenya and miss universe okay in miss universe is a pageant is a different pageant. Miss Kenya is also a different little, and then Miss World Kenya is also a different. Right. Of which uh -huh. I've ever competed in Little Miss World Kenya, uh -huh. and I made the first runners up. Yeah. Yes. So the, the, there's a different. Now, do you feel like when you reach at a place at your prime years, and you know you want to be a news anchor, and then you are also Miss Kenya or you're Miss Universe somewhere? Do you think you'll not be able to manage the two because you have started off at a very young age, and even all um, these achievements that you have, I can only imagine by the time you'll be 30, how many you already have had? Okay, I think when I started it in a very tender age, when I become older, it won't be a challenge to me since. I'll be already Dakwan Mezoya, so like it will just be easy for me to cope up with it. Right. Yes. Interesting. And and speaking of coping, 
when you are in this space, uh, there's a lot of people who you meet and you mention haters. Like, uh, are there, like, let's say, a couple of people that you have met in this journey and in this modeling experience that have, you know, brought life-changing, uh, life-changing achievements to you in terms of even help? Are there that you can mention that you say, hey, this one, they supported me, or this one gave me money, they sponsored my dream, and here I am. Um, one person that I would like to say thank you to is Uncle Edin, Edwin Isiolo. I really thank you because it, if it would not have been for you, I could not reach where I am. Actually, she's, he's helped me through my modeling career, through my poet career, and also journaliz journalism, because he's the director of Total TV in all Africa. Go subscribe to our YouTube, so go subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube channel, Total TV, which supports which supports, sup, let me say, supports, right? supports uh -huh. cultural diversity all over Africa. And also it supports all African child and also our culture. Right. Interesting details right there. And I love the fact that you talked about diversity. And on this note, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to ask her. She's going to tell us who are some of the, uh, uh, let's say, mentors that... All right. Uh, I'm told we are not due yet for a break. Now, uh, let's talk about, you know, cultural diversity, like you mentioned. Who are some of these, uh, let's say, international uh, models that, you know, you'd look up to? And in your bio, you mentioned Adut Okej. What do you like about her? And is there any other apart from Adut Okej that Adut you is uh, a very, love? She's a very good inspirational to me, okay. of which I like her beauty. That's one thing about, like, I really like her beauty. I like her career. Inspire, she inspires other people out there. Right. So the way she inspires others, I would also like to inspire others out there, all over Africa, Africa, and, all, and not only in Africa, but all over Af, but all over the world. Yes. All right. <laughs> now let's talk about you know uh, entertainment. You said you're a poet. Uh, you, you're also a poet, and uh, you've you've credited you've credited your uncle for actually your uncle or your auntie. Actually, she's just a helper. But for the show of respect, I call him uncle. Or right, call her uh, uh, uncle. He's him uncle. Yeah. Oh, I, was, I was really wondering. <laughs> you mentioned her. And uh, when it comes to even writing poems, it comes from a place of inspiration as well. And, you know, when, when a, a beautiful song is out there, people are jamming to it and dubbing. There's at least one interesting part that actually tells a story that's relatable to that person who is listening. When it comes to now writing poems in, 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 your, in your pageantry field as well, where, where do you think you'll have a chance to actually, you know, share poems and, you know, have people listen to you? Is it because maybe you be performing at events or Actually, the, in beauty pageantry as well? For me, I think the reason why many people want to know, to listen to my poems, is because the poem has a power and also has a message. Right. Sometimes like the wedding ceremony. Right. So like when you go for a wedding ceremony, you say a poem, of which it, it feels so encouraging to the couples. Right. Sometimes you go for a celebration, you say a poem. Right. So, like, I think the reason why many people want to listen to my poems, it's because it's very encouraging, yes. Right. You also want to be a journalist as well. Uh, I just want to know who are some of them that you look up to before we talk about uh, this award that you got from uh, a TV hosting gig. Some um, of them that you look up to. One of them is Lulu Hassan in Citizen TV. I like the character and the confidence. I don't know why, but... And also the former, the former, um, the former, this, okay, the one who used to help the president in state state house, the former president, the spokesperson in the state house. Right. I can't really remember the name, but then I think that the two inspirational people who I look up to because their confidence and they are like anchoring the news. It's just it inspires me very much. Yes. Wow. Amazing. Now, some of the challenges that, you know, you go through, you know, somebody would say, uh, I've, I've, had, I've had some of the models who are trolled online, and uh, some of them ended up feeling so badly about themselves to a point, you know, they said they were depressed. How do you take, uh, are, you, are you active on social media? Like yes. you have a page? Yes. What's the, what's, what's the, what's the name of the page? Um, in Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and on YouTube, I, I use the name Valerian Adoyo. 
Yes. All right. Now, speaking of that, how do you take feedback, the comments, the people who are actually, you know, send in feedback and they're like, hey, okay. I don't Most like this outfit. I'm like, hey, I didn't like the way you, <sighs> you did ABCD. Okay. When some people comment bad about me, okay, for me, I take it. Since if you put it in yourself, mm -hmm. it will actually come and hurt you very much. But for me, if one talks very bad about me, I'll, I'll change the negative attitude to the positive attitude. So it makes you ne to never give up. And you find, but most of the times people really comment nice and they really thank you, the, my fans, for supporting me in my career. You've never let me down and I'm promising you that I'll never let you all down. Perfect. You, I, I once listened to uh, this, this R&B star. She was acting like she was in a pageant. Uh, I think, should it be Alicia Keys or Rihanna? Where they asked her, what is your ambition in life? And it was a modeling contest. Let me just extract that and throw it to you as a model now. What is your ambition in life? My ambition is in life is actually like, I have a lot of ambitions of which I really hoping that God helps me to pass through all of them. I want to help uh, all African children. I want all African children to remember that their culture is more important than their... Like, may, in school you might find, like, maybe other, other children may start tribalism. They say, because you're not a Kikuyu, you'll not come to our game. Because you're not a Luo, you'll not come to our game. So, like, you find the other kids who are Kikuyu, Luya, will feel bad because they have, they have not been invited. They have not been... They can't join the other group who all of them are lose. So you find right. like your culture is more is also more important than your game, your right. tribe. Not that because one is also a luo and they are a luo, you cannot play. Actually, for me, I think when uh, when many communities come together, it it becomes very it becomes very interesting to know the other language. Like maybe for me, I'm a luo, yes. So when I come to Nairobi, I learn Kikuyu. Right. When I go to Turkana, I learn their language. Right. When I go to maybe, let's say, I go to many places, I learn Luganda, I learn the South African language. So you see, it's like so interesting. Yes. Wow, amazing. Now, uh, speaking of diversity, which are some of the, there's a place you mentioned you met people from Uganda as well, Sierra Leone, etc. Which was the most interesting activity that you met so many different people and what did you learn from it? Okay. The, the, the pageant that I've ever gone, that I learned a lot of things, is the Little Miss Africa, which happened in Uganda. Right. Since you are like from different parts of Africa. So when the one from Sierra Leone came, Terry K, popularly known as Terry K, but the actual name is Terry Fari Joyce Kamara. When she comes, teaches me her language. I come teach her my language. The one from South Africa comes. Like, we come and teach other different types of language. So for me, I think it was like, very nice. I came to know other cultures, like in Uganda, long time ago, when people want to serve food to the, to the older people, you would kneel down, give them the food. Right. So like you kneel down, then give the elder person the food. Right. So I think I learned a lot. You learned a lot from, yes. you know, the cultural interaction and diversity. Yes. Now, let's talk about fashion. You, you must also be fashionable as well. Yes. Because <laughs> they tell about, you know, I, I, I can see there's a, a photo we have uh, right there at our back screen. Uh, where was this and what happened here? Um, it was the grand finale of the Little Miss Africa, which happened in Uganda. All right. Yes. Uh -huh. So this one was the showcasing the showcasing part of which I wore a dress. Right. So what is this outfit and uh, what, what is it called? <laughs> is it a gown? Yes, it's a gown. Right. Yes. W w can you just describe a little bit for, you know, somebody who's watching and they're like, hey, I want this kind of a dress. How do I even go to the shop and, you know, find it? Um, the most easiest way to find this outfit, it's, I cannot really remember the name, but I really... Okay. I can remember the one who was also in charge of this was also Uncle Fernando and Auntie Jean. Um, right. If you want to reach out to them, you can go to our page, Little Miss Africa. Um, Little Miss Africa in Africa, you will find their number. You can call them and ask them, wow, I saw this dress that Valerian Adoe was wearing. Where can I find it? Who was the designer? Since it was from my designer, who I can't really remember the name. Right. Yes. 
and the outfit you're wearing today, uh, I can see you have uh, like a, a Miriam Makeba kind of, you know, a hat, uh, yes. almost resembling <laughs> Miriam Makeba, the, 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 the famous renowned Miriam Makeba. How, how would you describe this outfit and, or, uh, and what are some of just the ensembles it's got? It has a, a gold chain, there's also like two, three chains hanging on top of your head. So just describe for us a little bit. Okay. This cloth cloth was designed by my mother. Your mm. mom? Yes. Wow. So I think it's a very nice design. The reason why I always like wearing this cloth because it has a kitengo on it, which reminds me of the culture in Africa. Because the title Little Miss Africa is all about cultural diversity in Africa. So when I wear this cloth, it's made up of the kitenge. Right. So it makes me remember that Africa is all about culture. Yes. Right. So, uh, so, so this, what is the name of this? This is a jumpsuit. Oh, this is a jumpsuit now. Yes. And what about the shoes as well? These one are heels, okay. silver heels. They're, they're called Simba heels. Silver. Oh, silver heels. Yes. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Simba heels, <laughs> Simba I tell you. Hills. I'm butchering them right now. And uh, I've seen you, you've got a little bit of uh, chain ensembles and also there's one hanging, uh, hanging at the top of your head. Um, the gold color just reminds me of it reminds me of a lot. It reminds me that Africa needs peace. Like right. Africa, Africa needs the colorful things that makes, like the gold color, it's very unique and very expensive. Right. So the gold color reminds me that Africa, it's a very expensive continent. In Africa, we are very expensive. Right. So it reminds me like Africa, we are so expensive when it comes to trees, environment, culture, all of those, yes. Right, and speaking of that, speaking of Africa, in Kenya, as you've had this uh, quite a really uh, impressive experience, what are some of the things that maybe when you get a huge platform to participate in the pageantry world that you love to, you know, bring on the table and say, I want us to change this and that, you know, since I've started this from a very young age, this is what I've identified and I think I'm, I'm the solution and or this is what I can bring to actually just, you know, revolutionize it and change it and make it, you know, different as compared to what the narrative this. Okay, for me, I think Little Miss Africa is just the exact title that I needed to change Kenya. Right. First, what I would like to say to the government, in modeling career, we need, uh, we need more support from the government. Since when you find, the time I went to Uganda, it was not easy for me to get the money to go. When you try to reach out to some of the people who are part of the government, like they say, that time was the time for campaign, so you find they are so busy. And when it comes to the time that you may find, like, let me say, let me maybe the famous musician, like ba Diana Bahati, when right. they like want to go for, to go outside, like, let me say, they want to go to Dubai, showcase, you might find, like, um, one of the government officials come and say, oh, wow, I would like to sponsor you. But, like, for us kids, we don't get, like, that much support, support from our government. Right. But when you go outside uh, Kenya, you'll right. find that, the other countries will get more support from the government. So when it comes to Kenya, you feel like so bad, like, oh, why are our government doing this to us? Oh, why, why, do they don't why don't they support our talent? So I would really ask all government officials to support all young talents in, Af in Kenya. Right. And speaking of government, you know, uh, we have a new president who's already in. Yes. And uh, you mentioned as well that you would love this thing to actually be taken more serious and, you know, be advocated for and be supported fully. Yes. If, you, if you want to meet the president, I believe you will. Amen. <laughs> from, from, from God's ears. Amen. I believe you will. If you want to meet him and actually say a couple of two, three things to him about, you know, your journey, your career, and the, you know, the love of diversity and culture, you know, about Kenya. What would you tell him? Okay, I'll really, first of all, I really feel nice to, to meet the Honorable William Samoy Ruto, our current president. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I would like to tell him is that out here, there are a lot of kids suffering. So long as He's on the seat of our president, the, the presidential seat. He should support our African culture. Not only the musicians, artists, not only them, but also our African culture. In Afakupewa, Kipaumbele. So like you'll find like, and also to bring more, more, let me say, more concentration on the young, young children talent. 
child talents like modeling, singing. Mostly singing and dancing is is given like more priority. Yes, priorities wow. more, more than modeling. Right. Skating. Right. So you see, like, what I really like to add, it's also focusing not only on the government issues, not only on the crime issues, also the the talents of the young Kenyan children. Also, us, we sometimes you find like. Because our Kenyan government cannot give us much support, we have to go to the other countries which will, maybe you know a, a government official from, let me say, Nigeria, you will ask the one, please, can you help me with this amount of money so that I can do these stuff and that. So you find like, also the person will feel like, why is it not, why isn't Kenyan government not helping you find the enough currency for you to go for that pageant? Right. So I would really like to ask, if, any government official watches this interview, I would really like to add you, please also look after our cultural diversity and also the, the kids, the talent of the young Kenyan children. Thank you. All right. Fantastic. I hope they'll be watching when mm -hmm. we are done or uh -huh. when we are still here. And now away from that, uh, young children, uh, I remember there's a story that I read on a website where they were talking about uh, young children being abducted, being taken advantage of, especially them that do not have um, enough parental support. And I love that you mentioned your dad and your mom, they're very supportive. He's even in studio here with you right now, especially to those young kids who do not have somebody to help them. They are homeless. Some of them are in home shelters. Some of them want to be like you. If they watch this interview, they say, I want to be like Val, but they do not have the support that they need to actually get there. If you are to tell them something, to just encourage them and let them know that it will be fine, what would you tell them? Okay, for me, it was not easy, but one thing I would like to encourage all the kids watching this video is that don't ever lose hope in life because life has ups and downs. So you find like sometimes you don't have money, sometimes you, if you want to be like me, you see, one of these days you'll come and be an inspirational to other kids. I started when I was in a, at a very tender age. You'll grow slowly, slowly until you reach a, a po at a point that you say, wow, I never imagined I would ever be a, a person who would come help the communities out here, all over Africa, all over the world. All I would like to tell you all is that never lose hope in life because life is very interesting. Yeah, life is very interesting. Yes. And I love the fact that, you know, at 12, you already have all this knowledge and uh, this information at this young tender age. You know, some of us at 12, we were busy playing Kalongo somewhere <laughs> else. But I'm glad that, you know, you're so brilliant and so, Thank you. uh, and so passionate about, you know, the things you love at such a tender young age. And uh, just in case, you know, somebody wants to support your dream and your vision, maybe where can they access you? And you mentioned also you have your dad and your mom. I've seen, I've seen you walk with your dad a lot to some of these events because yes. he's here with us in the studio yes why why dad why dad the um, most and not mom my or mom is actually uh -huh. my mom is busy with one two three at home okay. so you find for the fact that i have a younger brother right. with the with this covid 19 period like you find working out with a child is more difficult right. so i just have to go with my 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 dad most of the time right yes. so if somebody wants to support you and reach out where can they access you um, I can give you my mom's number, 0711-214-791, 0711-214-791. You can also reach me on Facebook at Valeria Nadeo, Instagram at Valeria Nadeo, TikTok at Valeria Nadeo, also YouTube at Valeria Nadeo. Thank you. All right, okay. And speaking of TikTok, <laughs> there's a, there's a, we've seen a lot of uh, viral TikTokers who have come to create content. Do you like create content about fashion as well? Um, yes. Uh, it's just, you know. I also do about comedy with my younger siblings. Right. Sometimes they can do it about fashion, about my talent, about inspiring other kids out there. Yes. Right. So it's a thing you're yet to embrace, as you know, as time goes by. Yes. Now, uh, as we as we sum it up, maybe what are some of the things that we should expect from you, apart from you know, which was your last uh, which was your last budget that you attended? It was Miss Africa in Africa. It happened on. Uh, um, this April, was a couple of April, months ago. April. April. April this year. Yes. Ah, that was like your last event. Yes. Uh, what are some of the maybe the ones that you're looking up to to attend? Um, I'm looking to go to the Little Miss Africa, which will be happening in South Africa uh -huh. next year. If oh, next I, year, not yes, this year. Next year. All right. And 
if I get enough support from the government, I will really be happy. Right. Even if I don't win, I'll still remember that the government worked so hard to push me forward so that I can reach to a, a point that I would say, oh, I really thank you. Even though I don't win, I know you should never give up in life. Yes. All right. Uh, one last question. We are done. <laughs> one last question. What is then one lesson that you have learned in all this experience up to where you are right now that you'd love to, you know, pass uh, to across to any, you know, future aspiring, you know, pageant, model, etc. as we exit? The most important thing that I've learned in my modeling career, poetry and journalism, you should never give up in life since life has a lot of things and life is so interesting. And also I've learned that it's not only tribes, tribe that matters. Also our culture in Africa really matters a lot to our life and also our life today. Yes. Wow, amazing. And I can't add more to that. Uh, we'll leave it at that. We have been hanging out with the one and only reigning. You said reigning, not current. Yes. Reigning Little Miss Africa. Africa. Valerian Adoyo right here on Why in the Morning. And uh, you can continue to engage with us. And she has given a little bit of more insight if you wanted to actually, if you are a parent watching and you want your kid, it could be your son. Is it? Is it just about the ladies also, or even the gents also can venture into modeling also as the well? Gents can. It's for both, right? Yes. So if you want your son or your daughter to venture into it, I'm sure you've gotten a few little hacks here and there to actually inspire you and take on this journey. And I think on this note, we are taking a short break. We are coming back with much more uh, on our segment Sport on Tech. The hashtag is still Thursday Vibes. Hashtag Why in the Morning. You can find us on our social media. That's on Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is at Y254 channel. And Instagram is Y254 underscore channel. And mine is at Brian Sakwa 101. We come back, we've got you with much more. Don't hide the dial.